On May 24th, 2019, Northeast Rail Videos, Coastline Rail Productions, and I went to Wellesley Farms to see 448 with 145. I ended up having a quadruple header in addition to 145 trailing. On September 2nd, 2019, Amtrak Productions and I went to see 449 with 145. Unfortunately, it was trailing, but it was still fun to see. Five days later, on September 7th, I headed down to the square to see 448 again with the same engine consist of 145 trailing. The next day I saw it again leading west on 449. On December 3rd, 2019, I went to Framingham on a snow day to see 449. It had 145 which looked nice in the snow. On April 7th, 2020, I went to Wellesley Square Station at around milepost 15 on MBTA's Worcester Line to see Amtrak 449. MBTA is running a Saturday schedule due to the coronavirus pandemic, and this means that MBTA 1507 is scheduled to race 449 at Wellesley Square. Here's a perfectly timed race between the two. Big thanks to my friend Andrew Hume for the GoPro footage. Four days later, on April 11th, Dem Railroad Films 24 and I went to Wellesley Square after receiving word that an Amtrak PTC test structure would run to Boston with a P-42, an Amfleet Cafe, Amtrak's executive car Pacific Bend, Amtrak's Metroliner lounge car, and a dual-mode P-32AC-DM. It was cool to see a P-32 off its home rails in New York. A few days later, this train tested on the Downeaster route and later the Northeast Corridor. On April 15th, 2020, I went to see Amtrak 449 with Phase 3 Heritage Unit number 145 with its marker lights on. On April 18th, the Dem Railroad Films and I went to Automatic 14, which will soon be removed as it isn't necessary with PTC. 
Here's 449 with 145 leading in Downeaster MPCU 90224 headed to Albany for repairs while it's out of service. A week later, I'm at Wellesley Square to catch MBTA 1509 with the engine on each end. This set is running out to Worcester on Fridays for weekend service. For more information on why MBTA is temporarily running sandwich sets, watch this video in the top right corner. The next day, I was in North Grafton attempting to see the last CSX Q436, which ended up tying down in Worcester. Here's the same sandwich set from the day before on 1506, this time with 3C 1050 leading inbound. <laughs> On April 29th, I got word that MBTA 1052 would lead 1511 to Worcester. Having nothing else to do, I decided to get some exercise and bike down to the square. 1052 was given a special decal on the nose in 2007 to commemorate the opening of the then-new Greenbush Line service. 1052 has retained the decal for the past 13 years, and it's nice to see the pride of Greenbush soldiering on in 2020. Unfortunately, the day's 1052 will keep this one-of-a-kind Raptor numbered, as it's scheduled to be overhauled to MPI in the next year. Watch this video in the top right corner for more information on the MBTA F40PH-3C overhaul program. After receiving word that an MBTA rail extra would be on duty at Southampton Street Yard at 7 in the morning, I planned to get up early to listen for it on the radio, but I slept through my alarm. I woke up at 9.30, and I thought that I missed it going west. Expecting to see it on its eastbound trip, I turned on the scanner and did my schoolwork while listening for the rail extra. All of a sudden, I heard the rail extra on the move west at 3.3. I got on my bike and went from doing my work in my room to being trackside in 10 minutes. This extra had come from the Grand Junction branch to pick up four flat cars with one piece of rail bound for Worcester. 1027 was leading, which at this point is one of the few non-rebuilt F40 PHMs on MBTA's fleet. On the rear was 1029, an in-house overhauled F40 which seems to always be on non-revenue moves. I guess this thing is unreliable. Quite the move for a singular piece of rail. The next day I went down to the square to see 1509 with a sandwich set. This week's set has two variants of overhauled F40 PHMs. 1032 is an MPI 3C and 1029 is an in-house rebuild. 